Hi guys, welcome to Flash Fact. Today we're going to take a look at the style vendors. And also I'm going to start the, the video from uh, where you actually spawn, well, you, where you spawn most of the time in the Watchtower, because I know that there are people who are still kind of lost uh, in the Watchtower. It's understandable, it's a bit confusing at first. So let's get started. So at first we're going to go in the direction of the, the meta wing. And from here, we're going to go uh, west, more or less in the direction of the, the tech wing, but we're not going to go to the tech wing. We're going to stop before that. We'll show you on the map after that where we are so that you can uh, get a good idea. Essentially, you can see there's uh, technically three, well, there's two style vendors, but there's one also that's selling uh, some hairstyles. Well, I guess there's three style vendors. So you can see there's our friend, uh, the vending unit 00, and there's the, friend, the, the vending unit uh, 22, and of course there's uh, air stylist uh, Kami. So if we take a quick look at the map, so you can see where we are, right here. So let's start by looking at uh, the vendor unit uh, 00. So essentially, the vendor Unix 00 is vending is selling all the the items that the vendors in the watch tower are selling. Uh, essentially, once you essentially have here the, the Speed Force uh, Spectrum gear, which is the tier one uh, gear, but once you pass uh, tier one, uh, you can now come to this vendor and purchase the the style for ten marks of victory uh, each. It's a it's more or less expensive than uh, than purchasing it from uh, the actual vendor, and it, it it's even worse. Uh, like the, the tier one gear, it's not so bad. Well, there is quite a difference, but not as much as let's say the tier three or four or five gear. And it goes all the way up to oh, let's see what's the, what's the latest gear they've added. I didn't check this vendor in a while, so I'm not sure exactly what they have. So let's go and find out. So they have added the Scion gear, the Amazon Stratego gear, the Insect Colonics gear. So essentially they've added a bunch of uh, tier 5 or tier 6 uh, gear. That was uh, that has been missing uh, for, for a while uh, in, that, in that vendor. So here you can see the, some nice uh, Wonder Woman inspired gear. And here the Shepherd, uh, that's the Blue Lantern gear. So they've added a bunch of styles uh, from uh, from tier five and tier six uh, that that had not been added to the game to the the style vendor until fairly recently. So essentially, once you once you overgear part of the content, uh, well, once your CR uh, go uh, once your CR goes up, uh, you can come back and buy some some lower CR gear at this vendor if that makes any sense. And there's another style vendor here the vendor unique 22 essentially this little guy is selling uh, some of the gear that you're supposed to be able to get from missions but there's a lot of missions that thanks to the random number generator sometimes you you run a mission over and over and over and the style never drops from the mission so they've added a whole bunch of styles here like the hive defender style the sector agent style there's probably a few styles that are missing because essentially once you purchase a piece of gear or once you have a piece of gear, you will not see it in the in this vendor. So let's say if I was to have, uh, well, let's go for the Mayan. I'm pretty sure I have a few pieces of the Mayan gear, but I don't think I have all of it. Let's go see. Well, we'll get there someday. Oh, there we go. So you can see uh, for the Mayan gear, all I see is the gauntlet, the belt, and the leggings because I have everything else already. So if you look in here and, you, and there's some styles that you don't see, or if you see only part, a few pieces of a, a style, it's because you already have the other pieces. And you can see it's not cheap. It's uh, 70 marks of victory per piece. But sometimes if you've been running a mission over and over and over and the freaking piece doesn't want to drop, well, the easiest way is to come here and, and purchase it from uh, from here. Like the Mayan gear, holy crap, I've run this mission so many times, and as you can see, I'm still missing the gloves and the boots. The belt, I think, comes from uh, the weekly uh, the weekly reward box. 
so it's more understandable not to have it but the the pants and the the gloves uh, everyone should be able to have those and uh, sadly it doesn't seem to be the case so essentially if there's a piece of gear that you that will just not drop from a mission come here and uh, and purchase it instead it, it's it's less uh, it's less frustrating like that there's still quite a few uh, few styles that drop from mission that you don't see here like there, uh, there's some uh, kryptonian flex suit that you can only get from a certain uh, a certain, a certain uh, chest treasure chest uh, sadly they not sure if they'll ever add uh, those styles to the, the vending unit to 22. and of course there's our friend the cami over here who sells a whole bunch of uh, of hairstyles in the case of Kami, as you can, oh, we can preview. I thought we couldn't preview the style. Well, we don't see anything. Oh well. And again, as as I mentioned, you can preview the style if you want to see what it actually looks like in her character. And the same with our our, our little friend, uh, the vending unit uh, zero zero. So these are the, the style vendors that you have in this wing, but there's other style vendors uh, in the watchtower. So let's go, uh, let's go look them up. And normally I would have done this as an edited video. Lately I've been doing a, a lot more uh, videos that I've been editing, uh, but that would have meant uh, essentially filming the footage, then uh, recording uh, the narration uh, separately then putting it all together using uh, Movie Maker, which means you wouldn't, you, you would not have had uh, this video until much later today or possibly even tomorrow or later this week. But I thought it would be a good idea to, to give you this video as soon as possible. It's something I've been meaning to do for quite a while and somehow I always end up uh, doing something else. So let's see, so we have essentially our requisition H style vendor here. Uh, this guy is selling uh, PVP, P PVP styles that are no longer available in the other vendors. So they're, they're used to, essentially they, they've added some new PVP style at some point and they removed some of the PVP styles that were already uh, available at the time. And those PVP styles that are essentially no longer available, well, you can purchase them from our old friend over here. So let's take a look at what he has. So you can see he has a, a nice trench coat that would be awesome for a desert, uh, for a desert Batman. I guess I'm gonna have to keep that in mind uh, for a future build, I suppose. So you can see there's a few, uh, and in this case, even if you already have the style, you still see it. So I guess you have to be careful not to purchase it twice by accident. But you can see it says already collected, already collected. So here you have the Archangel style. I'll just give a quick uh, glimpse. We have the Eternity, uh, the Helmet of Eternity, well, the Eternity style, which essentially is the uh, wrong piece, which essentially is the, the Captain Marvel uh, style or Black Adam style, if you, if you like. Here we have the Hawkman style which is the nth metal style. Uh, then there was a Robin style for PVP. Well, we don't really see the R, but nah. And there's the uh, the operative style, uh, which are some checkmate uh, inspired styles. And there's a few, a few variations for reasons. Uh, we don't see the nice little horsey because everything is gray, but uh, yeah, doesn't matter. And you have the benevolent uh, defender style. Uh, I have no idea what this is supposed if it's supposed to be inspired by anyone, but uh, anyway. So essentially, do you have some some? Uh, I guess I was about to say obsolete, but uh, some some styles that used to be uh, PvP uh, gear that no longer is in the game. So at least they kept uh, the style in, in uh, this little vendor. Each piece of enhanced and as you can see, the styles are uh, 800 marks of, uh, of valor. Uh, essentially, it means uh, either eight losses or four wins, and you can purchase uh, a piece of gear or a style, I should I should say. So that's for this little fella over here. 
and now we're going to go check a few other uh, style vendors. So let's keep going. So normally I would have done an edited version where I would have teleported straight to the, the vendor. But again, uh, there's there's still quite a few players who are a little lost in the watchtower, so I thought it would be a good idea if they actually visually can see where they have to go. I know there are a few uh, missions that make you, make you explore the, the watchtower, but even then, uh, there's still a few players who sometimes can find it confusing. I know it seems uh, simple enough for uh, older players, for, for veteran players, but uh, it can be intimidating, intimidating for a lot of new players. So over, overall, you can see there's a bunch of, of vendors over here, and you can see the target, uh, the practice dummy over there. So let's get started. That is, what do we call it? Which, oh, okay. No, we are not going to look at that today. So essentially, the first uh, style vendor we're going to look at is uh, here. You can see our old friend is selling a whole bunch of emblems. In short, this is all the emblems you have at character creation. Uh, I wish they had it. Uh, there, there is an emblem, like a, a square diamond emblem, that's no longer uh, available in the game. I wish they would add it to, to this vendor, but uh, somehow they, they never bothered. Over here, you have all the, the, the helmets. Again, these are all the helmets that you have at character creation. Uh, there might be one exception, which is the, the combat the combat helmet. Uh, I'm not sure if they, they've added it at character creation or not, but if they did not, uh, you, can, you can purchase it here. This, uh, this helmet uh, has been added uh, when they added uh, the munition to power. Uh, I just don't recall if they added it only to this vendor or if they added it to uh, to the character creation as well. So essentially, you have all the masks uh, that you can get at character creation. And at some point, once you have enough enough cash, there's no reason not to come here and purchase all uh, all of those uh, helmets. It's going to help you towards your your feet uh, to collect like uh, it's 500 styles, I think, the, the the max one. So if you have all the all the chest pieces again these are all uh, the most of these are are from uh, character creation i was about to say these are all the styles from character creation but that, that's not quite true there's a few uh, there's quite a few that are missing that you can get from either other vendors or that you can get from uh, from certain missions like the the new genesis uh, style uh, is not available here uh, i'm pretty sure it's like a, a the mission you do once you reach level 30 where you where you can get the new genesis uh, gear so you have all the chests and you have uh, the pants. Uh, and again, you can have a preview of uh, what the pants will look like on your on your little fella. So on the other side, you have another style vendor. Here we have all the gloves. Play as Flash. That's going to be my next uh, video. And uh, I think we have also the boots, if I'm not, yeah. And we have the boots also. And last but not least is our little friend over here, which has essentially uh, the belts. And the masks. Oh, let's see if we can get one that will show. Eh, it shows a bit. I'm not sure if it's all the masks that you get at character creation, but if it's not all of them, it's uh, it's close enough. So that was pretty much a flash fact uh, for today with uh, all the, the various styles. Uh, I'll probably make another video about that. There's a few skin vendors that I'm not going to look at today. Uh, I'll make another video for those. And uh, so uh, 
as soon as the video is done processing, for those who are watching, I'm going to come back with the flash. Um, I'll take a bit of, a short while because it takes a, a bit of a bit of time for YouTube to process the video, but I'll be back as soon as I can. So that was flash five for today. So thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.